Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2021. And we are back on the West Coast Mainline North DLC. And today we have a 87, Class 87, in Intercity livery. Mm -hmm. We are doing the scenario called Evening Rescue. This is a red scenario. And it is 95 minutes long now in the last episode we did or the last video we took the 86 out and uh, this time we have an 87 they're not too different um, but there are some differences and it seems that our 87 is called John O'Groat um, like the place in Scotland now I believe in this scenario the the description was that there has been a electric failure and they've had to swap out a loco for this one and we've got a couple to these coaches and continue the service um, so that's what we will do when we jump into the cab we will couple up to these coaches and get going but before we do I just want to say if you are a new viewer who hasn't subscribed yet please do do so down below so you don't miss any of my new train sim videos all right let's uh jump into the cab and see what we're doing with so it says good evening driver you have been instructed to rescue the coaches in platform three and then take the service north to glasgow central please reverse slowly towards the stock in order to couple to the coaches okay so it is quite a rainy day uh, wiper control I forget where it is I thought that was it but maybe I'm mistaken uh, da -da -da. so we need to reverse up to these coaches okay so let's get this up put it in reverse and we can actually see if we go to uh, I believe it is six I thought it was but maybe ah, there it is I think it's this one no okay so let's just reverse into these very slowly and hopefully we should couple There we go. Release the doors. Okay. And again, I'm looking down here at this thing, which will tell us if we're going to overload the motors or not. Could probably give her a bit more. And away we go. Now, I have upped the brightness in OBS for this, mainly because it is quite dark um, in the actual game. I don't know why it's so uh, it's so dark and hard to see, but I have upped the brightness so you can see everything. don't know what speed it was out of here so we're just gonna try and stick to we're ignoring these I think or are we it did say the white sign so maybe these are the ones that we're paying attention to now believe it or not this is actually the first scenario for um, West Coast Mainline North 
but we we didn't do it first we did the 92 first I wanted to give that a go and then we did the 86 next um, but because this one is so long this is 95 minutes long um, I really didn't want to do this one first uh, are we ignoring these signs maybe it did say yellow signs ignore so I think we're ignoring those and we're picking up passengers from Lockerbie okay Okay, so we're about three, we're about four mile away from Lockerbie Platform 1. So we'll start um, thinking about slowing down. Luckily we can just do it on the speed to begin with. Just by bringing the power down, it will just uh, send less power to the motors, thus slowing us down. But we will need to brake at some point. We are picking passengers up from here. And we are quite a bit late, but that's okay. We're not going for a perfect score anyway. We're literally just playing for the fun. Now this one is, like I've said before, is quite long. Um, Glasgow Central is, well, it's 79 miles away. <laughs> Which uh, is quite far. Yeah, they're not real world miles. Um, but it's still pretty far away. And it still takes a while to get there in this game. Um, so far, I think we've been about 30 minutes just to get over here. So we've got, I mean, it's 95 minutes long. So we've got about another 60 odds. So this is one of the longest train sim missions I've, or scenarios I've done. That's why I'm not showing most of it. Um... to continue our speed we don't want to drop too fast but yeah this is one of the longest ones I've done um, most of the ones in 
the West Coast Mainline North are not this long. Uh, they're usually about 30, 60. Um, so getting this one out of the way will be quite good. Um, I was dreading doing it, but uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually enjoying it so far. Be a good one to stream this as it obviously takes 95 minutes. Uh, I will be cutting most of it out, unfortunately, just to bring it down to a watchable time um, that people actually want to watch. But we're not missing much. Not far now from Lockerbie. And it's just come on the little mini map at the bottom, so. We're coming in here at a nice speed anyway. 30, 30 mile an hour thereabouts is okay for this. be careful we don't want to risk stopping too early we don't want to risk coming in too fast good and we don't really need wipers anymore so it's not raining too badly let's let it roll into the station here Try and get all the carriages in. Well, we didn't quite get them all in. Stopped a bit early. It's okay. We just go a bit more. It is a difficult one, the uh, 
the 87. There we go. Yeah, it is a difficult one, the 87. It's not easy. Not easy. Oh, steam going past. <laughs> a little bit of a steam loco going past there. Looking good. And there's the guard telling us we're good to go. So we're just going to go to the end of the platform here. And uh, if we get it going... Okay, so we're about five and a half miles from Motherwell. Yeah, Motherwell Platform 2. And uh, as you can see, we're starting to get signals and speed restrictions. Don't want to give it too much. Now apparently there is a signal, also I had a little text box pop up, apparently there's a signal that's not working and uh, we will be allowed to pass it if we press tab but we have to pass it at 15 mile an hour or something. No idea where it is, uh, we are about four and a half miles away from Motherwell so I imagine it to be soon. And then I believe it's not that far to... Yeah, it's, it's about 10 mile to Glasgow after that. Or thereabouts. I am fully expecting the save it quickly. I am fully expecting um, a red signal to just pop out of nowhere. I'm not sure if you can, you know, press tab while you're, you know, going or whether you, you have to stop or what. I don't know. But uh, I can barely see anything. It's got pretty dark now. I mean, I have boosted the light and the contrast on the video to help you see but I, it's pitch black for me, I literally cannot see anything um, essentially it's like driving down the motorway with no lights on you know I'm doing 70 and it's pitch black you know, if the motorway wasn't lit and you turned your lights off, that's basically what I'm doing right now. I have no idea where a bend comes or anything. So 
So we're about two miles away now. Two and a half miles. I imagine we'll start having to bring her down soon. Fact. We might want to start doing it now. Bring it down to about 40. Should be about good. Uh, we got a yellow up ahead, so maybe this is the signal that's not working. I don't know. Hasn't tripped the AWS yet. There it is. So this will be yellow, double yellow, single yellow, red. I imagine that red one's the one that we need to ask if we can pass at danger. All the things going wrong in this one. From emergency cords being pulled to uh, signals not working. But it has been a long, long journey. Um, for you, it'll probably be just under half an hour long. Maybe even under 20 minutes, depending on how I, how I edit it. But for me, it has been a good 95 minutes. It's been, a, you know, well over an hour. Almost two hours. We're, we're uh, finally coming to the end soon. Okay, the next signal is going to be red. I can just about see it up ahead. We're also going to save it quickly. Just in case we pass it at danger. I'm not sure if we... So, request a pass signal at danger approved. But we need to be doing it at 15 mile an hour. So, we'll just bring it down. to that and we can turn off the wipers because we don't need them now it's been that long in game that uh, we've already requested the pass it at danger so we should hopefully be fine I hope <laughs> Hopefully the game remembers our decision, but if it hasn't, we saved it, so. Oof. That's always a scary moment in this game, going past a red light. It might end the scenario. And when you've done a 90 minute scenario, it's kind of scary. But uh, let's try and actually uh, not miss the platform this time. Bit of a late one coming in into here. It's just gone seven o'clock. What time were we supposed to be here? We were supposed to be here at six thirty-seven, so we are we're a good half an hour late. <laughs> Whoops.
just a bit more. We'll try and get the rest of the train on to the platform. Perfect. Doors open. Pick up passengers. Wait, what we're doing? And then our next place is 12 mile away. So, not too far, but then again, I will cut it. And when we get a bit closer. I will return. We've actually been signaled to go. We'll just do this. Breaks off. We don't really need power for this bit. We just let it roll. No power, no brakes. Just, just let it roll. And it's actually the end of the line, Glasgow Central. Really big route, this. Really big route, um, West Coast Main Line North. I don't think you'll ever get bored. I mean, hopefully they add the West Coast Main Line into Train Sim eventually. Uh, train Sim World 2. I'd like to see this route on Unreal 4. But to be honest, it looks just as good in this game as, as any other. So, it's not really a big deal breaker for me. We are considerably late. We were supposed to be here at... Oh dear. 6.52 and it's now 7.16. So we're a little bit late. But uh... It's okay. Surprised we didn't get an AWS buzzer then, but uh, I guess we're not going fast enough for that to occur. Even though it should still go off anyway, but uh, have we got a yellow? Yeah, we have. I thought we were going for those red there, but it says one there, like platform one above the signal, and we are on platform one. And uh, we're here. Long scenario. I suggest if you're going to do this one, you buckle in for a good two hour journey. <laughs> but it is quite a good one nonetheless. And here we are entering the station. Class 43 HST there. Next to us. This is quite a long platform actually in uh, Glasgow Central. So we're, uh, we're okay on the, uh, the length. 
We don't have to absolutely slam on. Let it roll a bit more. These people are probably thinking, I've been sat on this train for two hours, let me off. But uh, we'll just... Oh yeah, the carriage isn't all the way in yet, so... We'll just keep creeping along like this. Even though you probably wouldn't get off the back, very back carriage anyway. You'd walk down the train at least. And I think that's good enough. So that was the class 87. And uh, this mission was called Evening Rescue. Uh, it was a 95 minute mission. And uh, yeah, it was quite good. Um, so if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like. If you're a new viewer and you haven't already, please subscribe down below. Go check out all my other train sim videos on the channel. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.